We are live! Hello! Hello! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to screen grab something. Okay, you guys, welcome. It's Tuesday. It's two o'clock. And guess what time it is? Tea time with Tanya. And here's my special guest, my very own sweetie. Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got lipstick on you. Okay, guys, we're gonna start. Now, um, I am trying, oh man, we're trying to grab, we're trying to screen grab this. I wonder if you can, is it live on mine right here? Not yet, huh? You guys, we're on a little tiny hold. We're trying to screen grab it on another device. You guys, let's check out who's here. Sorry, we're Mr. and Mrs. There we go, okay, we did it, we did it. We, we gotta we gotta try to do this and are we screen recording yes okay you guys so sorry for the late start so if you guys don't know who this guy is this is my husband Christian and honey what's your middle name Christian Christian Anthony Nordoff that's right can oh, can cuz he can <laughs> okay we have Dennis Charnel Vanessa Johanna Hi, from Colorado. Dennis is coming in from Colorado. Hi, Kenny. Kenny. Yes, what's up? Hi, Athena. Katrina, Julie. Oh my gosh, honey, you joined. You joined our live. Oh, wow. <laughs> Teresa, hi, Teresa. Hello, Beth. Yes, hey, Kim, Kim Teresa. saying. Teresa. Teresa, yes. Teresa and I used to play in the in the orchestra together. Hi, Teresa. Um, Chris, um Kim saying that we match. Yes. I wonder who made sure that happened. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have to I have to pour the tea. Am I gonna spill the tea or what? Okay, <laughs> so you guys, we are starting with some iced tea. This is some black tea with lemon and a little bit of honeysuckle. That's right. And um, we are gonna give out we're gonna give out as much tea as I can today. I mean, I was gonna go more berserk with the tea. Is it refreshing, honey, or what? Vodka in it too, honey. No. I'm just playing. Ah, uh, you play. <laughs> we play, we play, we play. Hermie, hello, Hermie. Hello, Julie. Julie, thanks for the hearts and the flag. So, you guys, we are ending. This is the 14th episode of Tea Time with Tanya. Okay? And we're ending. We're. Hola, Kevin. Hola. ¿Qué tal? <laughs> ¿Qué tal? Kevin is. Um, Tea timing from Air from Arizona, Argentina. Argentina. Yes, Beth, I see your request. We will get Beth in later. If you guys want a uh, request to come in today, please just pop it in on the bottom of the screen. And if you guys have any questions for my special guest or me, special guest or me, there's a question on the bottom of the screen, and you can type it in anytime. Okay, so what are we celebrating today? What's coming up, honey? Um, oh, first let's here. Let's cheers. <laughs> could it be the 4th of July? <laughs> yes, it could. And that's what we're celebrating with a little red, white, and blue. So why don't we get into our tea time. Today's tea candle, you guys, is this little bitty tea candle. And we actually bought this together on my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it's called Tomato Vine. Oh, man, it already blew out. But it's okay. We'll pretend to blow it out later. Tomato vine. And guess what? Our glasses Hi, even Charlotte. have tomatoes. Charlotte. Oh, look at Charlotte. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> Rosina, that's okay if you forgot you're here. Yes. Hi, Liz. Thank you for coming in. Look at this thing. Hi to you. They're Hi. so kind. You guys are so kind. Hello. Jackie, what's up? So, you guys, our tea candle is tomato vine of the day. We've got tomatoes on the glasses. We're drinking some nice ice sweet tea. Oh, look at my dad just joined. Hi, Tato. Hi, Dad. <laughs> and then, um, se ven muy bien actuando en la serie. Oh, gracias, Kevin. Gracias, Kevin. Yes. Look at Dennis's high can. Hi, Makalani. Thank you for joining. Hi, Mak. So you guys, what's our tea snack of the day? We try to go as American as we can, and I wanted to do an apple pie, but guess what? We don't have an apple pie because we just have fresh apples. So let's take a bite of your fresh apple. If you guys are drinking tea or having any snacks, 
please type it in. And right now, guess what we're gonna give away? We're gonna give away some tea and it's not gonna be this exact tea, but it's gonna be something similar to it, a black tea. And the first person to type in an apple. Let's do apple, okay? Let's do apple, right? Apple. Apple, manzana. Yes, Beth, I see your apple. Okay, Just Beth. Just keep typing it out though. <laughs> um, and look, at, I see carrots from Dennis. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> We're drinking cherry vanilla fruit tea. Ooh, Teresa. Thank you for sharing cherry vanilla fruit tea. How exciting. Beth, we got you. You're our you're first winner of the day. Ooh. Yes. And then what else? What other tea snacks do we have that is your favorite, honey? She doesn't like when I eat these, the, my Oreos. But Oreos. I, I only eat them at night, so. Oh, you're not going to eat one right now? No. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you can't get more American than Nabisco Oreos, right? So, so there you go. Okay, so what we've been doing this entire 14 weeks is um, of tea time. And you guys, I look back to the first day I started this and it was already, it was March 24th. So quarantine brought this idea. It kind of rustled this up. Oreos don't have calories at night. Ah! No, that's why I eat seven of them. <laughs> Makalani, you recognize these. She recognized these are mega yes. stuff. I, they're too much, so I squeeze them, and then I take the frosting off. <laughs> yeah. You like what? What kind do you like? Double stuff. Double stuff is he good enough. He likes double stuff? Double stuff is good enough. Ooh, I like that. Double stuff is good enough. And I like the thinnest kind, the very thin ones. So, you know, we're, we're opposite, but that's okay. So, a little bit about Christian. Okay, so honey... Um, I'm so blessed to have him today because usually he would be coming home from work. So, honey, what do you do? What would you like to do? I play with food for a living. Uh, I'm a sous chef, and um, I spent over 10 years in hotels and restaurants. Uh, I've worked almost every position in a restaurant, and I worked my way up to sous chef. Um, sous chef is just below the executive mm -hmm. chef. And then you go into corporate chef, regional chef, um, where you're managing multiple kitchens. Uh, I love being sous chef. Um, and so I like to say I get paid to play with food. Yes. yes. But it's way more than that. <laughs> exactly. It's, and it's a lot of hard work, but it's, he loves it. It's a ton of hard work and stress. Mm -hmm. I get asked the question a lot, do you love it? Do you love being a chef? <laughs> I'm like, yes, because if I did it, I wouldn't do it. That's right. And in fact, when I first met you. That's how I got her, with my, with my <laughs> cooking, with my food. He did. He actually, he's like, can I make you something? I'm like, yeah, I'm really hungry. And then I saw him in the kitchen. I'm like, wow, you look like you're in your element. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. And then he ended up doing it. Yeah. And now I have it for life. <laughs> okay, you guys. Let's go into. Will you accept this rose now? Oh wait, that's a that's a different show. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're gonna talk a little bit more about Christian because um, I would love for him to share about whatever he can. Um, but we're gonna talk about our culture card today. So obviously, Fourth of July is coming up. Here's our American flag, and for the last fourteen weeks, we food stories. Ooh, food stories. Okay, Rosina, do you want him to say? He said you were, he said you were sexy, Christian. Me? She, she oh, said. she. Oh, she said. Oh, yeah. I'm so. I can read that. I'm so sorry, Kim. I, I'm for some reason I'm not saying it. Ah. Okay. Um, Rosina, does that mean you want some food stories, or you like the stories that he puts up about food? Okay. So the last 14 weeks, we've gone through a lot of culture cards, and you guys, we could keep on going. There's so many countries in the world. Well, obviously, today we're talking about the U.S. So, let's read some facts about the U.S. I don't know if these people know about it. What's our capital? Our capital is Washington, D.C. That's right, you guys. And look at these little guys. United States. And, okay, so here's some fun facts. Most of the world's tornadoes occur in the Midwestern U.S. Wow. I didn't know that. Did you? No. Okay, 
okay this is a really cool fun fact about geography in our country the grand canyon is bigger than the state of rhode island what what are you serious <laughs> To visit both, you have to drive six hours or hike about 26 miles. And if it's 26.2 miles, that's a marathon. Hello, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. <laughs> did you see her? Did you hear I said your name? Isabella? <laughs> Ring a bella, Isabella. I'm ding, totally ding, ding. ding da, 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 da. Okay, Rosina, I saw your I saw your Hey Rosemary, what's up? I Rosina, I saw the ladder. Okay, the stories. Oh, the stories on Insta story. Okay. Oh yes. Stories. Memo. Hi Memo. My good friend Memo. Mira. Hola, Memo. Oh, we love you. Although I know Memo has been wanting to meet Christian. So you're you're kind of meeting him online or screen, but you will meet in person very soon. Oh my gosh, Isabella just you guys, speaking of hikes and miles. Isabella on our screen right now just finished over 250 miles of hiking the G JMT trail you guys that's huge if you don't know what that's about look it up we, sh we should have her at tea time as a special guest yeah. okay one more okay, a couple more things how do we like say how, which one this was not like, yeah oh okay you want to read it the hottest recorded temperature was 134 degrees in Death Valley Ooh. what does that feel like Wow. And look, you guys, when you say hello in America, that's a greeting. <laughs> hello. And how do you say goodbye? It's goodbye. <laughs> and how do you say thank you? Thank you. Our popular sports, obviously, are baseball, football. Okay, wait, this is kind of fun. Popular girl's name's Emma. Popular boy's name's Jackson. And the famous foods are what? Hamburger, pizza, clam chowder. Clam chowder. Apple pie. Corn, apple pie. Corn bread. Cornbread. Yes. So let's talk about the, our flag, you guys. Sometimes I pop out my flag book because I kind of have a lot into flags. So let's look at our flag. You wanna, you wanna take the flag out and wave it? <laughs> okay, you guys. So obviously the stars on the flag represent our 50 states. And the, there's 13 stripes, right, that it represent the there's independent colonies. Stripes. Yeah, yep. 13 stripes. No, I knew that. Which include the the red and the white. But this is kind of cool. I've never really, like, known this 100%. Um, the blue symbolizes loyalty, devotion, friendship, justice, and truth. The red stands for courage. Courage. Zeal and fervency. And the white represents purity and rectitude of conduct. Rectitude, what a name, huh? I mean, what a word, <laughs> a name. Okay, you guys, <laughs> so before we get into our bowl of jokes, I am going to share the musical instrument of the week. And guess what it is, you guys? It is, what is this? Oh wait, what is it? hold oh. on, hold on, hold on, hold up. We need to give out some more tea. The first person, to put a American flag on the screen. The I know, they've been doing it so many times. But right now, oh yeah, let's see. Does that lift up? Um, okay, you guys, the first person. <laughs> <laughs> I almost knocked everything down. I'm drinking the tea. first person, go ahead, honey, drink it up. I drank it up. I drank it up. The first person to put the flag up. Oh, here we go. We, we lost you guys. That is so my fault. Oh my gosh. Okay, the first per I don't even know. <laughs> I see Charnel, I see Beth, and I see Teresa. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, Beth, we got you, we got you, and I'm gonna count Charnel and Teresa on here. Charnel, okay, yes, yes. And we're gonna get, get you Charnel. guys some tea. <laughs> we're gonna get you guys some tea. You guys, um, I have some extra tea prizes today, but let's introduce this instrument. Do you guys know what this is? I'm not gonna knock out Christian with it. It is. <laughs> It's actually, it's a band guitar. It's six strings, but it's formed as a banjo. I don't know if you could see it in, this, in entirety. So, so this is, obviously this can play like a guitar. But if you want to finger pick it, you can finger pick it. So you can, yes, it's a band guitar. So you guys, this is, in fact, we should have, Honey, we should have we should have did, done a duet, but we didn't do a duet. He, if you don't know, Christian, why don't you share a little bit about your musical past? <laughs> well, I played trumpet in uh, for years. 
for years in um, in band at school. I played in many parades at Disney uh, Disneyland, and um, uh, in high school I was in a punk band, and I played bass. What was the name of the punk band? The name of the punk band was called Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? And my moment of glory was when I was walking in Stonewood Mall, and these two girls came up to me and they said, "You're the bass player from Scratch and Sniff." And it was a punk ska band or just punk? Just punk. Just punk. We were just punks. Yeah. Bunch of punks. So, yeah, we kind of fiddled together, but we want to do it more often. We form a family band. Yes. <laughs> so, we'll put this away for now. And then, honey, why don't we tell them a little bit about your, like, where you're from? Where were you born? And where's your family from? The, the name Nordoff. First, why don't we tell them? You share. Where, where does Nordoff come from? So, Nordoff is a Dutch last name. Yes, Dutch. And uh, Dutch. my, I have family in Holland, and they live in the the state of Gorgingen. 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 And um, I've never met them, but I always wanted to go one day. We're gonna yes. go. Yes, we may, we might go. We were thinking about maybe this year or next spring. And I was born in Linwood, California. And I grew up in Southgate. SG! Uh, the Weddle from the Ghetto. And uh, He really was. You were like... I was like what? You were like one of the only Weddles on your block, right? Yeah. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Willie wants to start a band with you, Christian. <gasps> yes! My band days are over. I'm no! Retired. No, I'm band, day, band days are never no. over, you guys. It took a toll on me. <laughs> yes! Hey Mason, what's up? Woot woot SG. Oh my gosh, Beth, you got a woot woot from woot for woot. SG. Hey, Willie, I say yes. He, he he's played in bands and it's okay. Like we could we could start one here in our backyard. By the way, we didn't tell them. You guys, we're in our backyard and tell them what the tree is behind us. <laughs> the pomegranate? Yes. You guys, this pomegranate tree is like an epic tree in my family. My grandfather used to live here. So this tree has been here for years. And we would take you on a tour of the tree. We should we? No. No, we get it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so come fall, we're gonna have South Gate. South Gate, yes. <laughs> Mogwana says worship team. I'll play the eggs. Yes! Yeah, exactly, Isabella. We will we can be groupies. <laughs> okay, so so Christian's gonna dig out the old bass, and hey, he plays trumpet. He plays all these other things. Epic tree. It is really an epic tree. Okay, you guys. Now, what else? I'm so sorry. Sometimes I interrupt. That's okay. <laughs> I interrupt my sweetie. Um. So yes. Yeah, so his family, the the name Nordoff comes from Gongingen, Holland, and um, grew up in Southgate, and we met in the city of. Whittier. 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 Ye friendly town of Whittier. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hi. Okay, we love that tree. Dennis loves our arm. Um, and what other trees do we have in our backyard, honey? We have a, a nectarine tree. Uh, we have two lemon trees. Yes. Um, a fig tree and uh, a grapevine. Yes, a grapevine that, and the grapes are sort of maturing slowly mm. by slowly, right? Little by little. Um, yes! Hey, Isabella, we can call the band Tea Time, but we could also call it Whittier. Ye friend what about Ye Friendlies? Because Whittier is Ye Friendly Town, so we could call it Ye Friendlies. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, right now, we have a... a okay, what we're going to do is we're going to joke time, and then we're going to end with on a big bang. Fireworks? With fireworks and a giveaway. Okay, oh, but first... Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is, oh wait, we have questions. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm all over the place as normal. Let's see, we have a question here. Let's see. Oh, there's a question for Chris, question for Christian. <laughs> what is his favorite thing to cook? Kimmy, thanks for the question. If you guys have any questions, please type them in the question box. What is your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook would have to be pasta. 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 Seafood pasta in particular. <gasps> Yeah, I mean, he's really good with the proteins, the meats, because he's had to do them for a long time, but he enjoys the pasta. The pasta! Um, 
Society of Chefs and Friends. That's the name of the band. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, Teresa. Oh, there's another question. What is our next question? Um, yes. Oh my, oh, Magalani. Oh, Magalani. Christian, what is your favorite thing about Tanya? Stop it. Don't talk about me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you, ha do you have? Do you have a favorite thing about me, honey? Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things to pick from, but I probably have to say she, I don't know, she, um, she loves me. Yes. She loves me no matter what. And he loves me no and matter what. she knows what. everything about me. She still loves me. Yeah. Hey, when I first met Christian, oh my gosh, it was, remember we have a fireworks story too. How funny. <laughs> um, when I first met Christian, I heard his story from beginning to end even before I became his friend and I was like cool I know everything about you let's be friends and then it continued <laughs> okay let's see okay you guys are, the, the questions are rolling in now okay let's see Ooh, Julianne has a, qu a food question what is your favorite meat New York steak New York steak Christian's a meat eater I am like the that's why we balance each other really well. I'm like the veggie grain person. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Teresa has another food question. What is your best favorite gluten-free dish? I hate gluten-free dishes. Well, he... It's a sore subject. I know, but you know what, Teresa? He has had When some... I see celiac right there, so... Yes. You, you're um, allergic to gluten, so... Yes. Uh, I'd say... Salmon with asparagus. With Ooh, asparagus. that's a good. And Teresa, you know what? I actually, I'm not allergic, but I kind of gravitate toward um, gluten-free dishes, but I kind of like eat it all. Um. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Beth, how did Christian propose to Tanya? How did that's a propose? long story. Here's the short version. <laughs> um, I had trouble getting the ring, and so I had to change my proposal three different times. I and about that. Um, uh, I finally got the ring that I wanted, and I took her up to the Hollywood sign. And Mulholland Drive. I proposed to her on a Hollywood tours crew, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was videoed by some random people I didn't even know. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys! That is our twenty-two minute mark. But listen, we're gonna we're gonna finish we got a lot of things to give away too um oh okay makawani tanya what was the first thing you noticed about christian when you met oh you guys okay so i had seen him from afar at our church didn't know the guy but i kept on seeing him and in fact i saw him because you were you were he was helping out with youth and i saw his last name online and i was like oh i wonder if that guy is ukrainian because we know a lot of people with the last name off -F. But then when I saw him at in uh, far, I was like, wow, that guy's got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> that was like the first thing I noticed. We have a long story, but I mean, I love these questions. Okay, yes, um, let's try, oh yes, hey, Julie, Dylan can tell a joke. In fact, right now, we're gonna segue into joke time. And I have, I have a cue, I have a line of people. So, oh, Beth, I am living you in. And for Beth, Beth is one of our tea timers. I'm so excited to see you, Beth. Let's see, we are connecting. Beth, hello! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Cheers to Beth! Yay! I'm drinking water. Oh, good. H2O. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You guys, give a shout out to Beth online right here. Kim saying, hey, Beth. Hey, Kim! <laughs> now, Beth. Would you like to tell Christian a joke or would you like us to pull one from the bowl of jokes? I got a joke. <gasps> I, got I knew you would. <laughs> I was waiting for this. I was like, oh, I cannot wait till I live in. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to my mom. She's the one who told me this joke. She's a health clerk at Orcherdale, so I'm sure she heard it from a kid. Yes, so awesome. This is, this is a good one. Okay. Why can't a nose be 12 inches? Ooh, I've heard this one. I don't know. 
Because it would be a foot. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Punchline. <laughs> Yes. 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 Hey, Ben, is your mom named Kathy? Yes. That's yes, my mom. Kim. Credit to Kathy on that one. Credit to Kathy. Woo! Go, Mama. Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> How are you doing that? Are you doing anything fun for Fourth of July? I'm gonna be spending the day with one of my best friends and just hanging out and relaxing at her house. Good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I know this this Fourth of July is not gonna probably be as bombastic as normal but <laughs> we're gonna have the most of it right absolutely absolutely yes. friends and family your loved ones just enjoy the the people around you yes that's all you need yep great joke go i used to teach at od jackie oh my gosh how cool is that so there's some people that may may know your mama here of course. probably she's pretty yeah. famous in whittier she's like <laughs> amazing <laughs> ye friendly town of whittier guys ye friendly town and if she is as friendly famous. as it gets my mama I love it. Oh my gosh, Beth, thank you so much for lining in thank on our last you. episode. I'm so happy to be yes. here. Are, I just love this. I'm going to miss this so much. I know. And get, hey, stay, stay, stay tuned because we still have the big giveaway, okay? Yep. And you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to end it with Beth right here. Beth, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I think, yes, thank you for an awesome time. Okay, now I'm going to try to get Dylan in on here. Let's see. Okay, Julie, I'm going to look for you, and we're going to try to get Dylan to tell a joke. And you know what I'm going to do? If we can get you on here. Yes! Okay. Yay! Yay! Look at they even have the fun with them. Woo! <laughs> Dylan, how are you? Hi! We're in our oh. backyard, too. Yay! And guess what's behind, behind us? What's behind you? Pomegranate tree. <laughs> no way what are the chances that is awesome <laughs> so this is julie and this is dylan dylan you have been one of the most submitters of jokes this entire 14 weeks of tea time and guess what i have something very special for you a gift just for you because you have been the one person that have submitted the most jokes and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is a submarine tea steeper. This one is just for you because I wanted to give you a special gift for all those wonderful jokes. <laughs> Thank okay, you. So we're going to make sure that we get this to you. <laughs> yes. Now, do you have a joke to tell us? Yes. Thank you. We're breaking up a little bit, but I hear you. Can you hear us? Oh, you guys, we might we might get frozen on on Julie and Dylan. Let's see, unless it's us. Oh wait, there he there he is. Dylan, are you still there? Julie, are you still there? Okay, yes, we're breaking up too. Okay. Okay. Yes, so now we can. Let's see if we can squeeze out the joke. Okay. Oh, Ready? Go. Man. Let's give it one more shot. Let's try. Here we go. Yes. What are the football players used to cool off? What do the football players use to cool off? What? I don't know. What? All right. <laughs> What's the, what is it? What is it? What's the punchline? Can we hear the punchline? <laughs> we can't hear the punchline. <laughs> the fans. <laughs> the fans! <laughs> the fans! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Lachlan and Kim, thank you for letting me know that you guys can still hear us. Oh wait, there you're, you're clear to us now. Oh my gosh, Dylan and Julie, thank you so much for joining at, us at Tea Time for your amazing jokes. You're, you, I thank we see you. you, and then it's thank kind of, oh. Yes. Okay, I hear, I hear you, like, 
50 50 i still see you okay we're gonna okay. we're gonna close it out but we want to send our big a big hug to you guys have a happy fourth and stay on here because you might happy be another winner. July. yes you too okay happy Yay! Love you. thank you nice to see you bye guys bye guys Bye, God. It was the magic of the bed that brought the clarity back. Oh, wait. Now it's clear. I see you guys even better. How funny is that? Okay. So, you guys, I am going to give out, um, before our big grand prize giveaway, tomorrow, if you don't know, is July 1st. And it happens to be Canada Day. That's right. Canada Day. Did you know that? No, I didn't. <laughs> now, we've been to Canada, and we loved it, didn't we? Yes. Yes. What part of Canada did we go to? Vancouver. Vancouver. And we've got friends all over Canada. So you guys, I have never featured this on Tea Time, and I want to give a person this special tea. It is maple ice wine tea directly from Canada. Yes. So if anyone is interested in winning this tea, you have to type in the Canadian flag. Oh my gosh, Beth, I see yours. You know what? Let's get another winner. Let's get another winner. <laughs> Cut Canada flag. Don't you know? <laughs> Beth, you're killing us. Ah! Maple leaf. Yes, Dennis. Dennis, I see your flag. I see the Canadian flag. That's right. Okay, so we've got Dennis. We've got Beth. Johanna, I'm going to still send you a... a some Canadian uh, Canadian flag tea. It's not called Canadian flag tea. It's maple ice wine tea so that you get to taste this. Okay, you guys, now we're going to end it. This is our last time, 14th episode of Tea Time with Tanya. A ton of you submitted um, for this grand prize. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put it right in front of you. One person is going to win 14 cups of tea. Yet, yeah. what? What is that? Fourteen cups of tea, you guys. That means, look, I have it. I have it all prepared. Look at these are all teas that I have featured the last fourteen weeks, and one person is going to win all of this. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm gonna give the honors to my husband. I'm gonna ruffle this up. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for all of you. Look at look at all these entries. We have like over 80 entries. I literally wrote down every single entry and a lot of you guys did bonus entries. I made sure to get every one of them. So thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. So honey, close your eyes and then dig in and pick one little piece of paper, okay? I'm ruffling it. <laughs> I'm ruffling it. I'm ru 14. That was my former classroom number. Good. Okay, you guys, he picked it. Who is it going to be? Oh, you guys, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <gasps> Natalia! Natalia! Nat Inns on Instagram. You are the winner. You know what? I don't even think she's watching right now because I haven't seen her name pop up. She just won the 14 cups of tea. Natalia! Oh, my gosh. You guys all are winners in my eyes. <laughs> and, um... I want to say thank you so much for this journey in quarantine of Tea Time with Tanya. I'm, I've had a blast doing this and just being crazy with it. And I want to say thank you for the special guests that I brought along, for all of you who have submitted jokes and who have um, just shared this time because it's about sharing and caring. Honey, is there anything else that you want to do at Tea Time with Tanya? No. Oh. Thank you. I mean, not that I asked for that. I was just like, I don't know. Is there anything you want to share or anything? Okay, we love you. Hello, Melanie. Thank you for just joining in. It's okay. Yes. Thank you for your love and energy. It's been so awesome. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't be the same without you. And and these comments and the inter the live interaction is what makes it. Um. Yes. Okay. I'm going to blow out the candle that's already blown out for tradition. <laughs> and we have a song. Yes. We have this song, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up my band guitar and not hit you. It's tea time with Tanya, so join me with Joanna. You guys, it has been such a great time with you guys. And I'm so glad you joined me these last 14 weeks. Um, if ever you're bored 
and you need some um, entertainment or viewing pleasure, every one of these episodes are on my YouTube channel. And we've got like half of the episodes on IGTV. So you could always click on my IGTV. Jackson is clapping. Yes, what an awesome way to end. Jackson, thank you for clapping with us. We love you guys. And we're going to end and say goodbye. Happy 4th of July. Light up the screen with all the fireworks you can. Because you guys are the fireworks in the life. Yes.